In the season 5 finale of The Crown, Aaron Richards' character Kelly Fisher is introduced, nevertheless, Dodie fades, fiancé decides not to wed him. Kelly enters the romantic triangle that is established by the conclusion of The Crown season 5, and it is further developed in the next episode of the Netflix series. At the summer of 1997, Muhammad al Fayed, Salem Daw, the father of Dodie, extends an invitation to Princess Diana and her sons to spend a holiday on his yacht at St. Tropez. This starts a terrible series of events that culminates with Dodie and Diana's deaths on August 31, 1997. Kelly Fisher is an American model who became romantically involved with Dodie Fade in 1996. They met in Paris that summer, and by November, the two reportedly got engaged, via Newsweek. The Crown season 5 changed the timeline of the engagement, depicting it as happening in the summer of 1997, before he and Diana met in St. Tropez. In real life, Fisher said their wedding was meant to take place on August 9, 1997. She returned to Los Angeles to prepare for the wedding while Dodie went to St. Tropez, but he met Diana, leading to his love affair with the princess and the breakup of his engagement with Fisher. You know the princess of Wales. What happened to Kelly Fisher in the aftermath of Dodie and Diana? As seen in The Crown season 6, Dodie Fate and Kelly Fisher's relationship didn't last long after he met Princess Diana. In real life, Fisher claimed Fade dumped her via phone call soon after he got involved with Diana in the summer of 1997, on the same day their relationship was reported by the press. No, I'm probably not. The model accused Fade of two-timing her and Diana in an interview with the News of the World, for which Fisher was paid £200,000. Kelly retained famed attorney Gloria Allard as her legal counsel, and she intended to sue Fade, but dropped the case following the deaths of Dodie Fade and Diana. The Crown season 5 insinuates that Muhammad Al Fade disapproved of his son marrying a model, even though he wed Finnish model and socialite Heine Wathan in 1985. He's shown maneuvering Diana into meeting Dodie in St. Tropez in The Crown season 6, with the hopes that his son could marry into the royal family. Despite Diana's divorce from Prince Charles and her estrangement from the House of Windsor, Fade could have been stepfather to a future king and fathered his own children with Diana. Based on the dismissive treatment of her, Fisher didn't seem to factor into Al Fade's plans as they play out in The Crown. Where Kelly Fisher is today, Kelly Mavshina is the new Kelly Fisher. She entered into matrimony with pilot Mikhail Mavshina, and the two of them reside in Aiken, South Carolina, alongside their daughter Alexandra Grace. Fisher stopped modeling and is currently a property developer. She is no longer involved in the public eye. She has stopped discussing her relationship with Dodie Fade after selling her story to Rupert Murdoch's News Corporation for £200,000. The romance between Kelly Fisher and Dodie Fate ends in the crown, but as everyone is still coping with the fallout from Dodie Fate and Princess Diana's deaths, it's possible that Kelly Fisher will make a comeback in season 6.